in this video let's talk about a setup on DraftKings stock this is going to be a nice option play to the upside to play the breakout to the upside a very similar play to our meta platforms play which was on our weekly watch list sundaystocktalk.com so this is a very similar play to meta where we had the symmetrical triangle it broke out it closed above which gave us the confirmation and then it hit the level of resistance which was our price target for meta so we're taking a look at DraftKings here on the daily and the weekly and we have this nice similar setup which is going to be an incredible play for options so I'll be going over that and this video is timestamped because I'll be going over SPY, QQQ, quick update on Apple, Meta, Roblox, all of that. So if you guys do want to skip through and just watch the part of DraftKings, this video is timestamped. So let's get started with the SPY first. Let's take a look at the SPY and the overall market and the QQQ to understand the full bias and market trends. Now before I actually talk about the SPY, Tomorrow we do have the inflation numbers. Tomorrow we have the CPI, so pretty much we are either going to gap up or gap down. It is a hit or miss. But if we do gap up or if we do gap down, it is because of this news. So this will be one hour before market opens. We're either going to gap up or gap down because of this inflation news. And then next week we don't have much going on. So as long as if tomorrow we're chilling and we're good at market open, and then DraftKings is going to be a great play as well as the overall market so let's take a look at the spy we bounced off of the level of support okay we are bouncing and we are looking very nice we entered in the gap our price target is 438 okay this is our price target to fill this gap and then our second price target is the level of resistance we are now approaching the level of resistance so our bias is to the upside to the bullish we are still bullish but until we hit the level of resistance we're going to need to cool down and to slow down so this is going to be kind of our danger area once we do go up this is going to be our danger area for the spy which is at 443 dollars and that is where we got to start taking in profits especially for our short-term option plays so spy is at a bullish trend right now and we are approaching a level of resistance so SPY is looking good and we are looking very nice. Next we have the Qs which is the tech ETF and QQQ looks amazing and we are setting up for a massive massive breakout to the upside. Take a look at QQQ. We are at the level of resistance for the Qs and we have this nice bullish close for the queue so we are at this breakout area if we start breaking out we have officially in a uptrend to the upside so we're taking a look at qqq looks very very bullish we can potentially see a rejection tomorrow so it really depends on the inflation numbers that we have tomorrow but qqq is looking bullish spies looking bullish the overall market is looking amazing next let's talk about DraftKings. so this is the setup that i'm watching for call option plays i want to grab two to three weeks out similar to our play on amd as well as our play on meta platforms so we're taking a look at DraftKings. And it's really, really basic, uh, really, really simple. You know, we peaked at March 2021. We have been falling um, ever since. And then we had a accumulation phase where we traded sideways for a while. And then we had a nice push to the upside. But now we have this nice level of resistance um, for DraftKings. So we have this downtrend level of resistance for DraftKings. And then we have a nice symmetrical triangle. So we zoom in. For DraftKings psychologically, we are trading sideways and we are setting up for a nice setup uh, to the upside for calls. Our price target is going to be $32.68. So calls at open, if we start breaking out, I'm going to be watching DraftKings right at market open. This is going to be a very, very important play 
right at market open. So once we start running at the five minute mark, our price target is going to be 32. I'm going to be watching weekly calls as well as next week calls. So this is going to be a higher risk uh, play since we are doing options and we're not doing shares. So it's going to be higher risk and higher reward with a one week expiration. So a play like Roblox was... Uh, a incredible play because the risk to reward was good. We weren't doing any options. We were just doing shares. But with uh, DraftKings, the idea of options could be a little bit risky. You can also do call debit spreads. So you could do a call debit spread. Or you could just grab a longer expiration. Now the stop loss is going to be if we don't hold this level of support. So if you close below this level of support, we want DraftKings to be above the level of resistance because that is, uh, then we are uh, bullish. So if tomorrow we do break out and if we come back down and close below this level, that is going to be bearish. We need to close above for it to be bullish because that psychologically shows us that we have broken the trend to the up upside. Now we also do have a possibility that DraftKings comes back down and if, if does if that does happen we can potentially play the bounce or if it closes below the level of support we can play puts to the downside. So just like the meta play that we had on our sundaystocktalk.com we had this play it was a neutral pattern but whichever side it breaks out we can play options on. So that is a very very similar play to DraftKings. Now if you guys have been enjoying this video so far make sure to subscribe with notifications on and make sure to leave a like. Subscribe with notifications on so you guys can get alerted when I post the next video and make to go to sundaystocktalk.com completely free newsletter right into your email you guys can get some nice setups right into your email and also make sure to follow me on twitter to get live buy and sell alerts so this is where i post charts and i post my buy and sell alerts now let's take a look at and do a quick updates on just some, some other stocks roblox has had a incredible incredible run we are up uh, very nicely um, on Roblox. I'm going to quickly add the RSI indicator. So we're taking a look at Roblox and it has hit our first price target, which is at uh, $32. So it's about to hit that price target. Our first price target is this gap area. So we definitely need to cool down for Roblox. It has had an incredible, incredible run. But this is going to be our roof. And then we do have this gap in play for Roblox. So overall, we are up nicely 15% on Roblox shares. I have not sold any. I'm just holding them until we hit the level of resistance at $46 since that is my price target. But I'm pretty much just holding Roblox. But it really does need to cool down, especially taking a look at RSI. We are hitting that overbought level. So that is just a quick update on Roblox. You know, be prepared that it might come down because it needs to cool, uh, cool down. Or it might just trade sideways like we did in the past where it just needs to straight uh, just trade sideways because it needs to cool, uh, cool down. And we're going to definitely see some profit taking for Roblox. Taking a look at Apple, okay, we talked a lot about Apple. It was on our Sunday stock talk play. We bounced off very nicely. We we're hitting a level of resistance, but we're taking a look at Apple. Incredible, incredible setup on the weekly time frame for a nice descending triangle play to the upside. So if you're still holding the two to three months out calls for Apple, it is a great, great time to buy in more to play this breakout. Apple is looking incredibly nice, especially with the overall market like the SPY and the QQQ where we're hitting a level of resistance and we could see a massive massive breakout to the upside especially since we have Christmas coming up we have Christmas coming up we have holidays coming up which is typically very very bullish for the market so next we have um, meta meta has really hit our price target it needs to start cooling down you know start taking in profits if you have not already but pretty much this play is done we broke out we hit the level of resistance meta is doing incredibly nice um all of our plays on our sunday stock talk dot com newsletter went insane we're still waiting on amd so let's talk about amd i'm holding amd i was up over 15 uh, percent on amd and i'm holding amd 
we have this nice setup we closed above on the daily time frame as well as the weekly time frame so we're pretty much just waiting as long as if the overall market runs like spy and qqq which are looking bullish and then amd should also run the chart looks incredible for amd and then uh, just a quick update on Coinbase. So Coinbase again also had a nice solid setup. It is looking nice, but pretty much the whole market is breaking down trend. And just like Coinbase, we are seeing this continuation to the upside. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe with notifications on. Let me know in the comment what you guys think. And see you guys tomorrow. I'll be posting another video tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you guys can get alerted.